Hey everyone, so I'm back on campus this semester and I decided what better way to start than with a dorm tour. That and also I just have not seen like a lot of videos online about this place. So I'm no longer at U Suites. I was there last year. I now dorm in Riverhawk Village. It's literally like right next to U Suites. It's also right next to the Sangha Center, which is great whenever they do open up the hockey and basketball games because it's literally like a 30 second walk from here and you can literally beat like the brutal win that's in Lowell, which is honestly great. Like if you can like do anything to avoid that wind, amazing. For starters, there is free laundry and a full kitchen. Literally like stove, dishwasher, microwave, fridge. So if you're interested, you know, just just keep watching. I'll um, I'm in a standard, so that's like two rooms. Usually there's one bigger and then like one of them like fits multiple people. It's only supposed to be one person per room now because of the whole pandemic. So I feel like it's easier to show things. I don't know. It's just like more, you have more space now. So let's get on with it. Kind of nice, honestly. It's like a little like apartment place. Um, the trash is there, which is perfect because I don't have to be walking like literally down the whole hall for it. So once you get past the door, obviously, um, to my right is literally like this huge closet. It's um, pretty decent amount, like regular closet kind of. And literally right next to that is another one. Like there's literally two closets right here, right at the door. So you could literally just like put your jacket in there once you leave. A little light. I think this one has a light too. This one's like bigger. It's literally like a walk-in closet. That's sick. Honestly, no one's using it now. My sweetmate has her own closet. I'm not using it right now because I didn't bring a lot of stuff. So past the closets, right? This one and this one is the bathroom. Here we have like two mirrors, which is sick. Like one on the wall and then one like, you know, the normal one. We have a sink, toilet, shower with a tub. And it also has a light, so it doesn't get too dark. I honestly don't really know what this button's for, but we'll figure it, I'll probably figure that out sometime soon. Okay, so past the bathroom and the closets is like the hallway. This is my room, but we'll show that near the end. Um, this is the laundry. There's free laundry here, which is sick because back at home, I live in an apartment and I have to pay for it. And then U Suites and I think everywhere else has like, you have to like put quarters in whatever. But then I think this is one of the only places that has free laundry, which is amazing. I haven't used it yet because I just got here like less than a week ago, but the dryer is up here. And then like the washer's right there. And then, I don't know what's going on over there, but nice, right? Washer, dryer, pretty sick, honestly. Past the whole hallway is an opening to the kitchen. Hold on, I'm about to like put you somewhere so you can see the whole thing. Um, so basically, okay, there's like a first of all, there's a hole in the wall where like it literally is my room, but I don't know if all places have that, so just ignore that. But basically, Look at this kitchen. It's literally a full-on kitchen. So it comes with a refrigerator. It comes with a microwave and a stove. Like an oven. It legit is a full-on kitchen. And it, there's literally like a sink, right? There's a sink and a dishwasher. Personally, I've never used a dishwasher, so I don't know how that works, but we have it. So that's sick. This is the kitchen, right? Pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so let's continue with the tour. Past the kitchen, or like kind of connected, there's like a little place you can sit. There's only four chairs, there's only two people here. But you could have people over. Obviously there's like no guests allowed at the moment. Right there is my sweet mate's room. I'm not gonna go in there, obviously. Like I'm respecting her privacy. 
I think it's a bigger room where it has like a couple beds and like a couple of desks. I'm not really sure. But apparently there was also this little like phone, like an office phone. I don't know. Someone called in there like a couple days ago and it was really awkward. In the living room, there's like a literal couch. Like, it's like an L couch, kind of. And then there's like two gigantic windows. And I'm gonna show you the view. There's like also like this random chair in the back. Like there's enough space for a lot. You could really bring in like some stuff, but obviously I'm only here for a semester. I'm not gonna bring like a whole, I don't know, furniture. But let's show you the view of this place. It's like the back end kind of. So it's not showing like the front. I'm like, okay, let's just get on. This is the view. It's like, it's like musty out because it like snowed. You kind of see the field over there where we saw from U Suites. And then like you keep looking and it's like that. So yeah, that's the whole living room kitchen, hallway, everything. So let's move on to my room. So my room has like these kind of blurry when like doors. So it's kind of weird, but I don't know, I'm used to it already. So let's continue. There's like this light switch to like a light in there, but I put LED lights and I have a lamp, so I don't really need it, but I'll show you. Let me just make this interesting. All right, so let's give you a little tour of my room. So I just turned on the light in there just so you can see it more, you know, kind of. So this is my room. It's literally just like this tiny, like square little room. There is a rug. I don't know if this and this cabinet comes with it. Cause you know, like the typical drawers there are placed over there though. So when I moved in, like these cabinets were in there, but my sweet mate said they were in the living room. I don't really know the whole situation with that, but I'm using it. So basically this, I just used for my shoes. I only brought six, so it kind of just worked out. Um, as you can tell, I am blue is my favorite color. I'm not really sure if you noticed. So once I walk in, like I could literally open this door too, or I can just lock it and it won't move. But for the sake of the tour, we're opening it. Yeah, so walk in, right, is my shoes. I have a blanket up there because it is literally like 10 degrees right now. So I'm gonna close this door for a second because it doesn't really open all the way. But right here I have my desk lamp right there and you know and then this i just used for my clothes snacks and like all the cleaning stuff that i need to do and yeah it kind of like works out don't know where it came from to be honest and then this is my bed it was like lowered a little bit so it's not as high as it like typically they typically are which is great because it's like a perfect height so my bed is like that and then I put pictures. The LED lights literally go almost the entire room. It's just that part. It was like two sets of like 16 and it was just perfect. And so that's the light that it comes with, like the light from the hallway. So if I shut that off, that's like, it's like a really kind of fancy light. So that's my room. Let me go back to where I was from the beginning. Oh my goodness, so many lights to shut off. I'm not trying to like waste energy. We're gonna keep the LED lights on because I have class in about 10 minutes.
I think I covered like most, most of it. I know I didn't do my sweet mate's room because obviously respecting her privacy. Like if you like this video, you know, pretty nice place. Comment if you actually think, you know, about dorming here or if you think it's worth it, which I think it is to be honest. Subscribe because I'm going to start uploading more and yeah, I'll probably just put more content out. But thank you for watching and I don't know, have a nice day. Yeah, totally. Bye. Thank you.